Restart live, being called. Good luck, have fun. Between Scandi and Existence. Restart live. First map of the day is going to be Fushi Pass, of course, three flag map. One tank per team, along with one APC. Uh, neutral center island flag. This is going to be Scandi versus Existence. Good luck, have fun being called between both teams. Scandi is going to be follow playing the, on the US side. China top side will be uh, Existence, and I'll be following Scandi on the US side, especially during this breakout. Good luck, have fun being called. Team Candy, yeah, Candy is Butt Spencer. We got Lou Yet Lars o OP. Lelin. I love that he changed his name to OP specifically so that I don't pronounce his name wrong. Spencer, Elephant, and Taker. Decent spawn on the APC. Good spawn on the tank going all the way down. And it looks like a decent draw. And it looks like we had the, uh, the, the the squad spawn for the US close enough so that they were able to run it. Hand grenade. The health looks like high. Let's look at the first kill of the game on, Bre on his teammate Breaker. Taker on flag. Scandy. In control of the flag, just barely, as the grenades pop, pop in. Infantry on the flag. Spencer will get TK'd as well. So the first two kills, first three kills of the game are all going to be TK's. Clumsy will get the first real one on the, on the taker as well. Existence now powering through the China spawn. We do see the Lars in the U.S. tank in the basics position where it always is. Where he's able to kind of keep an eye on that flag radius. Scandi have total control of flag radius right now. Lars now squad leader, dropping off more members of Scandi. Uh, but this flag should almost certainly... Well, maybe not. I mean, it's gray right now. Scandi... R Lars doing an excellent job defending and making sure that Existence cannot get this flag. Looks like there's there was no rush. Maybe there was into the main, but it has been stopped. Flag still main. Elephant, Taker. Rushing into the center. Elephant will find a double kill onto Clumsy and Scott Angel. Take the center flag. And here comes the first artillery, this time in from Existence. So far, coming up, Bupkis. Nothing. And Scandi will take the neutral center island flag. Existence, though, not completely out of the fight. Will respawn on their squad leader in the near the flag radius. Clumsy now respawning. Existence going to mount a new attack on the center island. Three versus two. Now 4v2. Clumsy. Double kill on Dispenser and Taker. Elephant just hanging on. Lars. Forcing a drop down from Hayaz, who's going to get that kill onto Elophant. And right now, main base, East Mine and West Mine, both pretty uh, quiet. Whole battle pretty much going the way of Scandi so far. We do have a Scandi artillery coming in on the center island flag, but. Not going to really be necessary. It's just the one. Sky Angel will get the... Oh, Lou yet. Nice artillery. Pops the one on Clumsy just as he walks out the front door of the, of the office buildings. Lars is doing an excellent job. Oh, Lars nearly... He's going to try to get out and kill this, this uh, AT player. And he's still there. Lars will get shot twice. Leland should be able to clean this up. I don't think... Oh my god, Sky Angel is still alive. That's three rockets into Lars. Meanwhile, the battle for the flag... Okay, Lars will finally kill Sky Angel. Meanwhile, the battle for the flag... Still in the control of Scandi, though Elephant's gonna drop in, find two layers from existence. Piles will find one, gets killed by Spencer's 203. And 2v1! Knife kill from Clumsy! And an Erics on Spencer! Clumsy! Jesus, that was amazing! Revives all around. Sky Angel, Erix onto Pavladino. Scandi will defend, but just barely. Inside the office flag, is now getting get, now gonna get pushed. Existence gonna have to defend their squad leader as he respawns. Lelin. Just outside of the window, looking for that peek under the squad lead. Artillery gonna from from existence looking for the kill on Lars. Not gonna not gonna hit anything. More hand grenades into the center. Tank shot from M, from the China side, gets the kill on dispenser. And both the tanks gonna shoot at each other. Lars will actually get the sh the shot and the kill onto the Chinese tank from down there in the ravine. 
Lots of existence pushing in still. The pressure's still there, but nobody's on flag radius. Lars in that tank position is just so good at being able to defend that flag. The U.S. definitely have the advantage on that. It's more Scandi rolling in. The flag still in control of the U.S. side. No pressure at all towards the main. It looks like Pavlodino did try to sneak around, but Emzon and the APC managed to stop that. Now their artillery, this time from Scandi. Luyet's going to drop it close to the water side to make sure you can see if you can get anybody behind it. Wasn't even necessary, no artillery kills at all. Existence still spawning inside, clumsy with another kill into Taker as he comes around the corner. And as you can see, we do have the squad leader here, and it is Breaker. Breaker inside gets shrouded by Spencer. Does he get revived? That's the big thing, and we do see somebody going inside, and he's, there's the revive. So squad leader still up. Clumsy right now. 15 for 5. Crazy good uh, play right now from Clumsy. Tickets 159 to 171 in favor of US or excuse me, in favor of Scandi. Potential APC push, uh, looks like. Yeah, it looks like we may have an APC go down as OP. Gonna make another push towards the main as there goes the neutral flag. Lars will try to defend, and he's going to defend. He's gonna get the kill on the Sky Angel. Center Island flank will be held, or excuse me, it'll just stay gray, at least for the time being. Now we have a huge push from Scandi into the main. Axitar, excuse me, Risky Reflex. The uh, commander for existence. Dropping the artillery on the hill. Gets the one kill on the Pavlodino. Lelin will also go down. Spencer looking in the back. Potential APC steal attempt. OP going to get popped. Spencer's still there. Looks like they might be looking for... Nope, never mind. Spencer's going to get hit with a shotgun in the face. And the entire battle is going to turn back to the center island flag. Scandi going to drop three infantry onto the island flag. Grenade's going to go out. Clumsy finds a double kill onto Elephant and Taker. Pavlodino still on flag radius. Gets revive on Taker. Clumsy will get killed by Lars in the tank from the corner. Artillery going to land on the hillside from uh, Luyet. One kill on the Sky Angel. So far, nothing else. And Lars also 9-0 in the tank right now. Trading off shots with M. Another artillery lands from Existence. So far, going to kill the box. That's all it's going to kill. Car, this time from Existence. Tries to push behind, get into the U.S. main. OP. Will get taken out. APC and player. And here comes the APC from Existence. Still the two-flag bleed right now, but it's not going to be uh, that much of an advantage. And if Existence, this is the big deal. If Existence can get around, even if they don't steal the APC... Oh, that's an interesting artillery from Scandi. Maybe if Lyris can hold him there for a minute? Artillery's going off, but I feel I feel more of a threat for Pavlodino than that APC. Lu Yet nails Emzon as he bails out of the APC, and that's exactly why. Lu Yet, two double team kill on Elofot and Pavlodino. That's two wasted tickets with the artillery, but at least it's a, f a flag defend. Meanwhile, with Lars having to come up to the main, Existence has taken the opportunity and taken the uh, center island flag. Lars eating two straws on the way up, plus the tank shell. Lars in a really bad position. M moved forward. Tank will go down for Scandi. So, 11 minutes remaining in round number one of Fushi Pass Breaker with a triple straw kill. I'm not quite sure where that was. But Clumsy now going to push in. Clumsy sitting on top of the tank spawn. Going to kill Lars. This is almost certainly a tank. Oh my god, it's not. Perfectly timed. Clumsy being clumsy. The only time so far he's actually been clumsy. Stood still. Ate the rocket when he could have had a tank steal.
But the only thing that could have gone wrong there was that rocket in the face. Four players from existence. Continuing to push up on the US main. Clumsy is 24 for 10. Holy shit. So good. Having a great game. M about to get his world rocked as he pushes up towards the three infantry. Four now, or now with three infantry of Scandi. One more rocket. Dark smoke. Nothing else is going to come through. We'll just barely miss. And M will stay safe and get out of there. Potential another push towards the, US, uh, towards the Chinese main. Looks like there was a squad over there in Alpha. Not quite sure if anything happened there. It looks like he got taken out. And Scandi now going to push in towards the center island flag. Lars in the backup. Backup squad lead. Gonna have to deal with M on that hill, though. Takers, Sra on Bossa. Look at the infantry push of the offices. Sra kill will miss. Bossa and Clumsy each pick up one kill themselves. Lars getting flanked from behind, but nobody's AT. Risky reflex. Existence drops an artillery on their own teammates. And did that actually clean up the push? I think it did. I think we've got one player from existence sneaking into the main right now. But it really, it's just... It's just Lars down here. My apologies for the puppies going nuts. Alright, existence. On flag radius in the east mine entrance. Clumsy, double kill on dispenser, Elephant, boss will find Pavladino. And Lars. We'll get the kill into Breaker. I don't believe he's the squad leader at the moment. Center Island flag is picked up. Pavlodino kills Bossa. And as we see, the tickets have completely evened out. An early Scandi lead has now evened completely at eight and a half minutes left. We also see an APC. Battle on the right. This should almost be a certain death for this APC. And the tank. We do see M sneaking up on the other side. Shot in the APC. It Did it dust? Or did he miss it? That's the question. Can't really tell from spectator mode, but that should have been a kill if he hit it. Dangerous spot for that tank to be. He's going to get... Oh, Toad in the back. OP. We'll kill M. Rear shot on the tank with the APC. They'll trade it out, but good trade for the APC. Meanwhile, another infantry push towards the center island gets taken down. Lars just getting some reps on the boxes. Scandi's going to have a breakout attempt somewhere, and there it is. It is the car that's going around north. So as we can see on the map... And it has been spotted by the APC! Gets obliterated! That was Emzon. Scandi deep dive in it. Into the main. M is actually already there. This was a kind of a poorly timed... Attack as uh, M had just died in the U.S. main, at least mine entrance. He was able to pick up that tank, and then he was just able to get, you know, respawn and defend this push from Scandi in the main. There should be an APC from the China side respawning any second. There it is. Elephant, definitely going to get a rocket into it before he gets taken out. But the APC... Will be safe, it looks like. Because M took out Spencer on the hill. Existence continuing to push into the main base of the west east mine entrance. So they do keep getting thwarted down. Three infantry right now. Elephant tries his best. OP not going to be able to land a shotgun shot. And Scandi still taking the brunt of this fight. But with Lars in the tank, that should be fine. Uh, 
All right, Scandi, Scandi's position not looking so good right now. There's a free APC. It's gonna be OP. He's gonna have to be the one to uh, to run all the way back there. M in the tank pushing up to the fence line. Gets one kill on to Elofont. And Lara's gonna press, but I love this AT that bailed out of M in the tank. Looking for that tank kill. Can't really see it. There's a lot more AT coming up from Scandi. Gonna push M back down into the hill. Yeah, this tank just pretty much pretty much toast. That last rock could have done the kill. Artillery gonna go out from Scandi. This could be a good one. Luyette will find Boss and Clumsy with it. Nothing else as the artillery's kind of west of the tank. Lars through the crack in the fence. All right. Scandi now going to push towards the Center Island flag. Pretty much dropping everything, including OP. OP-125 now pushing all the way around. Going to get the flank on the squad leader, hopefully. APC going to go down, but he does kill Sky Angel in the process. Was it worth it? Yeah, I'm not sure he got the squad leader. But all the infantry from Scandi actually got wiped out. And it wasn't, it wasn't even close. It was super fast that that happened. Lars... Becoming the squad leader, dropping off two infantry, but it's not going to be enough. Taker and Elofont. Well, Boss and Elofont going to trade it out. Taker, the last alive. A er, and artillery will fall on the flag. Maybe one kill with it if it hits the uh, infantry from existence on the flag directly. Jeep into the main now. Existence have somebody in the east mine entrance. Have to see where that goes. Grenade spam goes out. Gonna shut down the push from Scandi as they re redeploy back down to the neutral flag. Clumsy now. KD might be rocked but because of the pushes, but man, 31 kills is still pretty awesome. Lars pushing deep in, not quite sure where the infantry was. Took a hit on the way down. Two and a half minutes, pretty much, remaining left in round number one of Bushi Pass. 40 tickets to 73. Now, if Scandi can just trade out the kills, take what they can without getting capped out, they can call that a win. Just lower that, tip to that ticket differential. As much as you can. Have to see if they decide to push. Taker, double kill, Straw, and MP5 kill. <laughs> Lelin, you want to drive by? Maybe just to confuse somebody. But he's actually going to run into M in the tank here if he goes any higher. And he knows it. Minute and a half left in round number one. What was initially a pretty strong Scandi operation? Just started to collapse midway through the round. Artillery landing from existence. Not going to come up with anything. Oh, I guess it'll get Spencer. Luyak going to drop the artillery on the center island. Sixty seconds on the clock. Scandi down about well, 40, 42, 43 tickets right now. And ever increasing as the bleed plus the kill feed. Going heavily the way of Scandi or existence right now. Nothing happening. 
pretty much with that push. Scandi gonna make a last ditch effort diving everything for the for the West Mine entrance. Pavladino, double hand grenade killing the Boston Sky Angel. Tank is gonna roll back. 25 seconds on the clock. If they can get the tank, that would be pretty huge, but I would just go for the kills at this point. Clumsy M, Emzon. They're gonna wipe out this push from Scandi in the main. I think there's one left alive, but it doesn't matter. 16 tickets, 15 tickets, 10 seconds left. That'll be the end of round number one here. OP. Just should survive. And there's your score for round number one. 57 to 9 in favor of existence. So a 48 ticket win on round number one of Fushi for existence. Clumsy put up some numbers that game, that's for sure. Lars 23 and 4 gets the 22 and 4 of uh, M on the existence side and tanks. Pretty even as to expected. Restart live, existence call on ready as well. 30 seconds on the clock as we start round number two of Fushi Pass in this week four match between Existence and Scandi. Existence will be now on the U.S. side. Scandi will be on the China side. And first of a friendly reminder for those of you just joining us, Scandi did lose map number round number one by 48 tickets to Existence. They had a very strong... Whoop, looks like we had another secondary restart. They had a very strong opening push and a very strong first half of the game. They were up at least about 20, 20 25 tickets for uh, a little bit. And then uh, Existence pulled a little hat trick, swung around to the main, put some pressure on Scandi, and as Scandi fell back with the tank, they left themselves vulnerable on the island flag, and Existence came in and took it out. And Scandi never recaptured that center island flag once they lost it about nine, eh, about ten minutes into the round. Good spawn for Lars, good spawn for Pavlodino. As they pick up their, their own respective assets. Sraws from Sky Angel picks up the Jeep, kills Pav Pavlodino and Taker. Epic fail right now. Epic win for uh for existence. Completely gonna shut down Scandi's opening push. What an opening. OP125 going to push in. Hyos will get killed. Sky Angel is going to take that APC out. That APC is doomed from the start if it was going to push up the center like that. Scandi, I'm sure, was like, oh my god, we have to re re redeploy and figure out where we're going to go. APC, now we're going to push Lars in the tank. Not sure if that's a great idea. Lars nearly gets out at the wrong time. Man, if that would have been a couple seconds earlier, he could have lost his tank. Scandi. Did have a jeep going around to the main, so they're going to redeploy all there. We do see M in the tank moving up back towards the west east mine entrance. Toe was taken out. Erix does kill from Lelan. will kill Breaker. Oh no, M will get the DBV kill, and he's going to wipe out all of them. Elephant, the last one alive. Lelan is... No, I guess Lelan is still there in the back as well. Elephant. So that's a four-man, possibly five-man kill from uh, M. And now Lelan going to be on his own just now until Spencer will respawn. Breaker <laughs> gets the kill on the Spencer immediately. Now Lelan will go down as Clumsy will throw the grenade. Elephant will get the res, but more grenades coming in. Breaker, another secondary kill on Elephant. Lelan going to get taken out by Clumsy. The push by Scandi gets shut down. Meanwhile, existence, not idle. Looks like they were trying to push into the West Mine entrance. My limited success as most of these... Uh, there was some resistance there. Wow, OP gonna pop again as mostly AT gonna push him push into the West Mine. Continuing to shut down the vehicles of Scandi. Take her, hand grenade kill into Emzon. Follow-up kill of AK-47 kill into Clumsy as he pushes the mound. 
Can he get a third? We've got an AT pushing him on the mound. And he's going to get the kill in the Sky Angel. Push up the far south. Going to try to get around behind M. The Jeep will survive. Lelen will get down there. Oh! I'm actually not quite sure what got the kill into M. But M is still alive. At least his tank died. So Lelen will take that out. Elephant will be on flag. Oh, good shot. The first one. And the second one. And the fourth one. The artillery hits home from Risky Reflex. Leland's still alive, but OP125 still there. Finds one of the bossa. Are you getting landmined? OP will go down as well. More infantry coming in from Scandi. But is it enough to take the flag? We do see the uh, the LAV from Existence now pushing or like able to shoot into the flag radius. M's gonna show up to the flag as well, take out Taker, and just kind of drive past. He's just out for a leisurely drive. Now, if you're watching this and going, where the heck is Scandi's tank? Scandi is too busy defending their own main right now. Like, OP just spawned in the APC, and he's going to practically almost go down again. Lars and the armor of Scandi is under so much pressure in their own main, they can't even get out. I mean, that just took them up quite a while just to kill Emzon. And poor OP, killed by M again. I mean, that's just the life of an APC driver. M's, M's on a roll this round. 10 and 1. If I only died once. I see a jeep going far south, which could only mean that it's going on top of the west mine entrance. And that is... Oh, Lou, yet! Never mind. Excellent artillery going to clean that up. Finds the triple kill. Well, and the team kill. Why not? OP pushes in with the tank, sacrifices himself, allows the tank to get out. Triple kill for him, and they wipe out existence in the main. Now the question becomes, can Scandi break into the island flag? Can they break out anywhere? Pavladino. And Taker on the rooftop. Sraw down. Well, def will not get that kill. Taker finds Bassa. Spencer, Taker, Pavladino, Elephant, they're all going to push into the island flag. Hand grenades out. Taker gets the kill into Clumsy. We hear the artillery going off. From existence. The flag is going to go gray. Ha Bossa drops the two-man hand grenade so that the artillery isn't even needed. And while you're watching the center island flag fight, just friendly reminder, if you look at, of your, at your mini-map, you see that APC of Existence parked on the hill. Existence not content with just taking the two flags. They want to push in more. Artillery for Scandi is going to look for the APC, but it's not going to find it. Scandi does have one squad leader still at the island. And it's Pavladino, and he'll just get take now get taken out by Bossa. Existence still have the hill. They actually just took out the box that was crawling down for uh, for Lars in the tank. So unfortunately, a wasted box. Lars still getting popped. APC will go down. Lars also going to go down as clumsy on the far bottom uh, on the little bit of the uh, the valley edge there. It's that last rocket into it. Scandi is incredibly reactive this game, but it's not going to help them if they need to make a push somewhere.
artillery towards the center. Not going to land pretty much on anything. Might get the Jeep from existence that's crossing the road right now, but that would be a lucky hit. Well, he gets Breaker. That's the Jeep. We see M by the OL cisterns. And Scandi now have a push in the main. Spencer. Oh my goodness, that was so needed. That looks like he... Maybe the APC wasn't on fire on my screen, but it looked like it missed, but... Whatever. M's on the APC will die. Scandi now in the main. No toe on the board. Taker pops the, the gas tank, kills Bossa, is now on flag. 2v1 on center on the center west mine entrance risky reflex double kill spencer you need this kill you need this kill last shot oh my goodness great awareness from emzon getting in the apc while backing up scandy unable to make any major plays this round Nine minutes into round number two. About a 50 ticket lead for existence. The bleed has been against Scandi the whole round. That initial first straw onto Pavlodina was just fantastic. Taking a look, M17 for three in the tank. The push continues in the main. Well, it briefly did there. There should be a follow-up push. And I did see a jeep drop off over the West Mine entrance, and we've got two infantry so far there. Oh, man. And it's Bossa. And he actually got the kill... Onto Lou yet the commander up top, the only really place where you can defend it. You're gonna have to get really lucky with a hand grenade. Scandi did manage to neutralize the center island flag, but I don't see any infantry follow up there. Existence with two up top. Four man Scandi push. Bossa up top gets hit with the artillery. Two players, well, now one of Scandi on flag radius as Emzon gets strawed. OP again will kill Sky Angel. But in the midst of all this, Scandi actually managed to defend their main and they took the center island. So we're going to see some suicides out from the main base. And Scandi will now have to defend. Oh, they stole the tank! Lelin stole the tank out of the U.S. main. That's a huge play. I was like, wait a minute. That tank shouldn't be there. We'll see how long it lasts. It's not exactly difficult to take out a tank. Lelin making a run for it right now. So Scandi, not out of this round yet. APC, wow, you just see the uh, the rockets coming at this tank right now. Lara's going to babysit them all the way through. Lelin, can he get out? Elofont will get the double kill onto Clumsy and High House. Can you get this tank out? Scandi dropping a main, artillery in their main. They've got three infantry of existence still here. Flag is halfway dead. Lars is going to have to go in, but he doesn't have any health of the tank. That's great! That's... Oh my goodness. Blue yet. Double kill with the artillery on the boss. Well, triple kill now. Is there anybody left alive here? No. Wow, that was close. Oh my god, I thought Breaker was dead. Now, Risky Reflex! Returning the favor. Center Island flag has been neutralized. No more spawns. For Scandi, the artillery kills Lelin in the tank! And that's the round! What just happened? <laughs>
120 to 0 existence with a cap out. Not even a cap out, a double gray cap out. Okay. So 120 for existence there. What a wild second game. Why the, they all just rushed into that knowing the artillery was there? Ugh. All right. So that's round number one or round number two, and we that would be is the conclusion of Fushi Pass. I believe we're gonna go to Road Rage. Yeah, and there we go. And there's the restart. Operation Road Rage is your map number two today. Of course, it's a three-flag map. Each team gets two tanks in their main, along with three vehicles, three transports. So we get the ocean front for the U.S. side, shopping mall for the mech side. I'll be following Scandi on the mech side. The Overpass, Junction Park, and Hillcrest are your three flags. Hillcrest and Overpass do provide another tank per flag for a total of six possible active tanks at a time. It is one of the, if not the most vehicle-heavy, tank-heavy maps ever made for a competitive battlefield game for an AV8. Good luck, have fun being called. We'll watch a Scandi deploy out of their main. I see nobody is taking the muscle car, also available. All right. A little bit harder to cast these as there's going to be a lot of action going on all over the place. Lelan he heading to Junction Park with one other infantry. And that looks like a clean cap. Meanwhile, Existence going to make, the, make their stand here at the overpass. Spencer, trying to duck the straws, coming at him. One, two, Spencer will go down to the tank. Tank will go, uh, flag will go up for, for Scandi, but they're going to the tank. Uh, where's the tank? Or I guess that was the tank that spawned there. I guess Spencer had it. Double tanks from existence on top of the, on top of the overpass. We see, who is this? OP and Luyette trying to push into it. One of the tanks actually looks like it drops. Existence will pick up the flag now. And there is the new tank spawn. Scandi. Needing to push in. Potential landmine? Nope, nothing there. Luyette does get taken out by Emmett with a hand grenade. And we have a battle for Hillcrest. Like I said, this is going to be a little more difficult to cast right now. Existence of one player on Hillcrest. Looks like Scandi made a push there. Now two on flag radius. I wonder if this is their first cap or not. It is. It is. Okay. So a new tank up for, for Existence. Scandi going to drive in. Taker gets shot by Clumsy. I mean, look at the map. Look, look at how split up the teams are. Very, it's going to be very isolated action all over the place. Existence, two players, two infantry from them, pushing into the junction park. Lelan will respawn and get the double kill on the boss and breaker. And Lars will TK his buddy, his teammate, on the way through. Tank repair is coming for M. As he fights two infantry on the hill, that if the tank is going to go down in just a second, and there he goes. So Scandi currently have control of the overpass flag, but there's two infantry. Now one on flag radius of the overpass. Spencer will jump down. Take her up above as well. 
Spencer jumps down. Tank spawns. Spencer steals it. Sky Angel just didn't catch it in time. Good cap by Scandi on the overpass. However, Junction Park goes the way of existence. So a two-flag lead right now for existence. Ayaz with the straw on Spencer. Artillery gets a kill on the Taker. And Hayas will uh, wait until the artillery is over. Spencer actually going to get that kill on the, on the Hayas with the with the uh, with the Saiga. Successfully defend that flag. Lars pushing into the junction park. Tank going to meet him there. Taker on the other side. Two infantry respawn. Lars. Gets his tank stolen! He popped out for a quick repair. Uh, somebody from Existence. It was going to be Breaker. Spawned behind him. Oh, no. Huge misplay by Lars. That flag will be fine. And the tank will be stolen and driven away. No, it won't. Tank Taker from the north. Gets the kill on the Breaker and the tank and the stolen tank before he gets away. Infantry battles all over the place. Tanks. One low ground, one high ground. Oh, no. OP-125 trying to drive through. Lu Yet's artillery nails him. This is so such terrible luck for Scandi this round. We see Spencer in one of the tanks trying to get to the, up, up the overpass. He's being blocked already. Three fleet, three flag cap for existence. Not sure what Spencer could do on this overpass. The existence tank at the top actually has the uh, defense, but he's got the window there. Junction Park gets recaptured for Scandi. Artillery is going to land right on Lou yet. Might actually kill Lelin as well. Scandi did have a push going towards the Hillcrest. Oh man, Lara's going to lose another tank, this time to Emzon. Yeah, it is very clear that the that Existence know what they're doing on this map and they have at least a couple more main tankers. Scandi with control of the bridge right now, but they don't have control of the flag. Spencer on the low ground, Taker dropping down. And OP trying to get the 50 cal damage. On to whoever's down on the flag radius. Rescue Reflex, another artillery. Taker gonna back off immediately. Maybe he can get the flag. Oh, tank spawns. Good tank steal. Good. Gonna back out. As Risky Reflex did drop the artillery, did TK boss as he respawned. Still in flag radius. Spencer gonna drop down off of OP. Flag will go gray, but Spence, but Taker, Taker's tank is a uh, Taker's tank. Oh man, that's a tongue twister. And one, two, five, gonna get pushed by Lars on the hill. Straw kill from Pavladino onto Sky Angel, but it's not enough. We gotta still have to still has to contend with the tank. As Existence's main tanker will push up. 
I believe it's just Taker at the top. Straw kill. We'll get the kill on M. Looks like we've got some uh, updates from from uh, some history about the map in the in the uh, in the chat here. Born to, be, born to be a movie fan saying Scandi played this map versus Bum Bum last Wednesday and it was a very bad map for Scandi as they didn't know how to play the map. And right now, I can't say that they're looking like they figured that one out yet either. OP. Gonna push into the overpass. There's two in front of him and one above with the straw. OP will get the kill into Hayas and Basa. I love this jumping ape, this jumping rocket right here. He has to do it several times to see if he can get the rocket shot off. Nice straw from Sky Angel. Making the jump straw shot. Oh, Breaker. That's unfortunate. So Scandi will pick up two flags. There's still one here. Shotgun kill from OP. We'll get the kill. On to Sky Angel. And Scandi hold two flags for the first time this round. And we are actually 10 minutes through round number one right now on, on Operation Road Rage. Lost the map for a second. My head. Like, I know what this map is. Pavladino gonna run it through. Loses his Jeep to M on the bridge. Hank on the Hillcrest will go down. Also, the Humvee will go down. Is Scandi able to push into Hillcrest? Well, they're gonna have to throw away, uh... The Junction Park in order to make it happen. Lars will lose the tank. They keep on leaving Lars to pretty much defend this flag on his own. And so far, it hasn't been working for him. Artillery will let, it sounds like it's going to land on Hillcrest. And it's going to shut down that Scandi push. Pavladino is still here, though. Elofont. Taker will respawn. Oh, Taker will miss one straw. Elofont will hit the other. And we do hear the Humvee as well. Or uh, one of the Jeeps. Sky Angel will respawn. 203 kill onto Evil Elephant and M16 onto Pavladino. Shutting down Scandi's push onto the overpass. Or onto Hillcrest. Meanwhile, at the overpass. Getting ahead of myself. Artillery from Scandi. Landing on the bridge. As OP gonna cap. <laughs> just drive under it. Hoping not to get hit by the same artillery again. Meanwhile, M on the other side of the overpass, on the off-ramp. We'll get the kill into OP. Is Existence going to drop their own artillery onto the overpass? By the way, for those of you interested, the driving on these overpasses is not the easiest thing in the world. You actually, these girders that, that, that we see M, like pushing up against like he's actually having to control this tank you can't just like you know nascar your thing your your tank along the side of the wall and hope and, and hope that that turns your tank no 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 no. it like rams you up against the wall and it makes it really difficult to drive so as a tank driver you've really got to make sure you're making it the right turns artillery on the overpass risky reflex or it looks like this is a Scandi artillery. So far, no hits. But you never know. And there's another three flag hold for existence. Scandi, gonna drop a ton of infantry at the top. Lots of straws out against M. Boop of a bullseye. And M is still gonna pick up three kills. Hand grenades out, even though his tank goes down. Taker gonna rush in, or M's gonna rush in. M? Come on. Oh, Elephant. It's the straw kill into M. Scandi devoting everything pretty much. 
into the fight for the overpass. They've, I think it's Lars. Lars actually managed to single-handedly take the junction. The amount of infantry right now that Scandi has fighting for the overpass. Lars went down at Junction Park and Existence might have a tank and an infantry player there to take to follow up and take the flag back. Luyette is also there, but he might die very quickly here. We we'll might see that one in the kill feed any second. Luyette will get the kill into Hayas. That's one infantry kill, so that flag might be defended. But on the north side, though, overpass. Existence did an excellent job and has successfully defended that flag. Looks like there was no risk at all to Hillcrest. I believe Pavladino tried to get all the way around again. Did not work out. 38 tickets to 117 with 6 minutes remaining in round number one on Road Rage. Overpass battle. Not, Scandi not even going to make an attempt towards it anymore. Just taking a watch at the Hillcrest flag. We've got Lars pushing in alone. This is this is exactly Scandi's problem. Lars likes to continue to push in alone. And they just they don't have any support for him until it's too late. We've seen it time and time again on, at the Junction Park and on Hillcrest just now. Scandi's going to show up, but... They should have been pushing in around him rather than letting him die like that and get shot. Lars will respawn on Hillcrest. Pick up the new next tank, which will immediately get vaporized. Hillcrest flag? Oh my goodness, what a battle. Clumsy, double kill. Clumsy, triple kill. On Dispenser, Taker, and Elofont. A Sraw and a double MP5 kill. Existence just respawn all around Scandi. That was pretty cinematic. Uh, oh, yeah, so artillery's gonna land. R Risky Reflex will take out Spencer. Taker and Lelin. And now Spencer gonna respawn, trying to get into the Hillcrest again. There is a tank here. Looks like it's clumsy. Might have a tank from existence here. This time, I believe it's Lars, along with Luyet in the driver in the gunner seat. Tank will go down, but not before Clumsy takes out Taker and Lelin. Ten tickets remaining in round number one, as this should be the end of the road. Oh man, Lars just gets obliterated. Luget spawns out. Yeah, the respawns from existence, I think, are what's what's kind of determining this round. Anytime Scandi pushes in, it's just like there's three or four ATs that always spawn in for existence. I mean, the tanks are almost inconsequential. 102 tickets to zero. This, I just want to point out that this map also goes to show you just how balanced the anti-tank versus tank battle is in this game. Like, BF2, the balance there, is so good that it doesn't matter how many tanks you have, because all you're going to have is, like, two AT, or one AT can literally take out a tank. It's so good. But that doesn't prevent somebody from, like, like Clumsy or M or Lars from doing really well on a tank. It's just a very well-balanced dynamic in Battlefield 2. And as you see, Clumsy also put in some work last round. So we'll go into the last round of the match. Following that decisive existence victory.
on round number one. He's lost about 16k so far. Well, yep, that figure is good. Live on round number four of Operation Road Rage. Now Scandi going to be taking the U.S. side. Existence on the mech side. So we'll take a look at the Scandi push. <laughs> yes, I know the command to get rid of the HUD. It's too late now for that. Push moving out. Alright, looks like Lelan. Plus two infantry. Gonna head to the overpass. One player from Scandi headed towards Hill Village. Both the tanks moving out. And wow. Existence got there so much faster than Scandi. Scandi puts one rocket into it. Grenade so far, ineffective. Tank will go down, so a good first blood drawn from Spencer. Smoke all over the flag. Oh, that's an interesting thing. You don't see smoke too often. Not quite sure if that was the smoke from the tank. Scandy's totally going to win this round. 200 to 0. <laughs> Ye of little faith. You guys don't know, man. So far, the uh, hill, the overpass is currently in Scandi control, along with Hillcrest. So, the big fight here... Oh my god, clumsy. Coming in clutch again. Getting the hand grenade kill and the AK-101 kill onto Elofat and Spencer and allowing Sky Angel to take the, spawn, the tank spawn. <laughs> Lelan respawns. Unfortunately, it's not fast enough. Artillery going to land from Scandi. Luyet is an expert at TKing his own tanks, but unfortunately, luck is not with him to get the, to kill the enemies. The good news is, for Scandi anyway, uh, Existence literally dumped everything trying to retake Overpass. So Scan that's, this is going to allow Scandi to take the Junction Park and as we see, M just took out OP there from the shot from the main in that T90. So still a two-flag hold, and one of the uh, tanks uh, from the overpass actually just got taken out. I believe that was clumsy. So we'll see what M can put can do here. Well, M just took out two two infantry here from the Junction Park. Scandi getting pushed at the main or the Hillcrest here. One infantry left now as OP will take out Clumsy. It's going to be Elofont who gets the kill into Breaker, and that'll be the end of that push. Existence so far. They've got the overpass, but they need to continue pushing in. And here comes the push onto Junction Park. Scandi have nothing here. This is exactly where Scandi would need to just suicide out and squad, squad, squad bomb everything onto the flag. It'll just like Existence does. But they're not fast enough. Lars will get the kill into M. There's still one infantry. No, now two on the flag. Jeep drop from Luyet. Not going to connect on the infantry. Well, Lars will kill the Jeep and that'll get the kill. The flag technically in favor of... Uh... Well, it'll go gray in just a second here. No respawns come up from existence, so that's good for Scandi. Double fl double tanks here. Thank goodness that artillery didn't kill <laughs> didn't kill either of these tanks again. Ooh, Scandi did get around behind. Or er, excuse me, existence got around behind. Took Killcrest. That is bad news for Scandi right now. They've lost one of their tanks, and now the other tank. Is there a tank steal, or are you just sitting in that? Where's my camera at? There we go. Yeah, he was just waiting for Pavladino. There's a tank, U.S. tank sitting there for a while. Infantry battle. Is Scandi going to press into Hillcrest? Elofont finds Clumsy. Clumsy will get the kill. The hand grenade. Lars kills Hyos on the rooftop. Lelan. Kill on the Clumsy. 
Raw point blank. Breaker will go down. More infantry spawning off of Lelan right now. No more respawns. One spawned! Elophant wasn't paying attention. He thought it was over. Ayaz will spawn and get the kill. And Lelan playing a ring around the Rosie with this infantry, whoever's here. Oh no! Oh no! Ring around the house! Ayaz put such a delay on that. Now look at during the look at what it cost. Both tanks, two tanks had to come back over there. Meanwhile, Scandi is gonna lose the uh junction park. Or at least temporarily. We have infantry here, but it looks like Pavladino in the tank able to hold on. There's just tanks everywhere. It's hard to remember who's driving and what. M being very, very cautious with his tank, sitting behind that semi. The overturned tanker. Existence mounting another push. Woo! Lost the camera. Towards Hillcrest. Taker did manage to get the uh, the IFV. Or the FAV. But now going to fight two versus one. Thankfully, Lars is here. Lars unable to kill the infantry, though. Look at the jackrabbits! The jackrabbit speed of high Oz. Well, the good news for Scandi is that they've held this two-flag lead for quite a while. And they just cannot afford to lose this two, these two flags. That bleed has to continue for quite a while. Ideally, for the next 13 and a half minutes. But Scan uh, Existence is going to continue to mount this pressure. Scandi just dropped an artillery onto the uh, Junction Park. And a fort there's no uh, artillery to be called here. It's three infantry plus the tank going to recapture it for Existence. And another tank for Scandi will fall. Amazon pushing in. M also pushing in. Oh, this is an M. It is M. Oh my god, I'm losing everybody. Alright, so Existence have pushed into Junction Park. Scandi now devoting or deviating and taking overpass. It's the first time they pushed overpass in about five minutes. So yeah, dropping the lone artillery onto Hillcrest. Gonna come up short. I guess you, I, don't know, I guess he'll get breaker. Avladino, shot on the side of the tank, kills M. And another tank gonna go down. This time of Emzon. Well, maybe not. Emzon just out repairing. Just barely hanging on. Last ditch repairs. There it goes. Bill Crest. Probably going to go back the way of Scandi, and it does. But not before Pavladino goes down one more time. Breaker now. Pulling up the double kill with the PV19 getting the other kill on Taker. So existence not out of the not done yet. Oh, there he goes. Nice kill from Elofot in that T90. Another potential trade here. As yeah, Scandi dropping another. Well, first off, the Lou yet dropped a triple kill onto the overpass, but that may have actually been a bit bad idea. Because now that's going to allow those infantry to respawn at the Junction Park. Scandi currently have four tanks. Which is actually pretty impressive. 
I believe they still have the tank from the overpass. That wasn't it, by the way. <laughs> There's no way they take a, they take a stolen tank up there. Surprise, su surprise, surprise, Clayt, uh, lands onto M, as he continues to defend the Junction Park. So things are, I would say they're, they're starting to look bad for Scandi, but, I mean, to be fair, they had the advantage most of the game here so far, most of the round. So they're only down about, well, four tickets. Well, they're only up four tickets left. The round is starting to even out. There's the stolen tank. Spencer is in that stolen T90 from the overpass. Rocket's going out against M, but he's on the crate. They're going to need more than that. Ticket's about to be dead even again. As the bleed's starting to work back its way against Scandi. Spencer will get the kill onto M through the smoke. So that'll be a tank down, and Spencer in that T90. Looks like he just gave it to, to OP. There's another free tank in the main for Scandi. They're going to have to push forward. Eight and a half minutes left in the round. Tickets dead even, 123 to 123. But friendly reminder, after that 100-ticket win from uh, existence on round number one of this map, all they really need is another 20 tickets to to clinch to, to clinch the map and the round. Almost certainly they'll play it out to the end, though, because that's what we do. Risky Reflex. Dropping on artillery. Three-man artillery. Elephant, Spencer, and Pavlino Dino will get taken out. Alrighty. Not sure what's going on there, but anyway. That's actually kind of hilarious in the chat right now. Junction Park, still getting defended by Existence. Lydia gonna drop an artillery just north of the park. Finds one artillery, finds one kill. And the Scandi moving their way up slowly. Cool. That's actually hilarious in the chat. This is why the chat is no is never on stream. By the way. Anyway, so we'll just kind of ignore that for the time being. Scandi continuing to push up towards the center island their center junction. Junction park. Getting to be down about 15 tickets now. Six and a half minutes remaining left in round number two. Rockets going back and forth. Scandi, unfortunately, just can't get the pre the they can't get enough pressure. And I believe they've lost that last that bonus tank. Unless OP is still in it. Yeah, OP. Yeah, he's not. That tank went down. So Scandi are in uh, in some serious trouble. And they've devoted pretty much everything to taking out Junction Park Flag, but there's so much armor and so many infantry here from Existence. There's not a lot of cover. Clumsy double AK-101 kill onto Lelan and Lars. Ah. Prevented by better Twitch TV. 
Okay. That's a good way to do it. Five and a half minutes remaining in the round. Scandy now. 27, 22 tickets down. I know I am. Don't worry about it. It's just... It's... It, again, it's just bots. I'm not worried. Shit happens. It's just a chat. Continue with the match. That's the important thing. Five minutes left in the round number two here. Round number two of Operation Road Rage between Scandy and Existence. Uh, OP does try to roll into the Junction Park. It's taken out by Breaker with the Eryx. This is just w one death after another. Scandy cannot push in on this flag. And they've devoted everything to it. We see double tanks from Lars and Spencer up north. But look at how difficult it is just to kill one infantry behind the rocks. They've got the box. They've just they're just trying to get any infantry kills that they can. The box now goes down. They didn't kill the infantry. Okay, they're just going to go for it. And we'll get sh we'll get shot in the back by Lelen. And we'll go down. Luyet drops the artillery on the flag. Team kills the tank of Spencer. And Bassa will respawn on the flag and kill Lars. Follow-up artillery, this time from Existence. Reflex will kill Taker. Auto mod cut a bunch of stuff. Totally fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Three and a half minutes left in the round. At least Existence are not going to, I mean, completely cap out Scandi. Scandi at least fighting for their life on this one. Look at Elopon. Triple kill there. Pistol, DPV, and M16 kill. What are you... What are you going to do, bot me for playing BF2? Really? Yeah, that seems legitimate. M pushing his way back into the uh, Junction Park flag. Two rockets into him. Oh my god! He bailed out to repair! M's on ran him over! He'll get the revive from the teammate, but the tank will go down anyway. Bad luck for M. And it doesn't even matter, though. M's on... On the flag, along with two infantry, maybe even three, and the jeep of Clumsy. Existence are just so good at getting back on the flag. And the thing about the getting on the flag is it allows you just to be there and have that opportunity to respawn. And you can just spawn AT, like right now. They cap the flag. Now they can spawn AT at least once before the flag goes gray. Artillery from Existence going to land on the flag so far. Coming up with nothing. Definitely will. Scandi will recapture. But at what cost? <laughs> you grabbed a screenshot of it say 1.2. Yeah, nice. I, I mean, at this point, I would just hope that Scandi can hold this flag enough just to hold a, to hold the bleed to win the round. I mean, 61 to 76, it's not impossible for them to come back, but the kill feed, this is what's important right now. Scandi has a maximum 17 kills. I mean, the amount of kills that Existence have, let's see here. We've got 92 kills to 86... I mean, yeah, it's just, it's, it seems so even right now as far as the kills go. And existence. A minute left on the clock, 68 to 57. Existence definitely have already won this match quite a while ago, actually. They took all three of the earlier rounds, and they're made. They've made, you know, they've put in work on this one. Scandi have the opportunity to take the round, but first they've got to get those last couple tickets down. Nine tickets separate a win and a loss for Scandi on the round. Respawns out. 
Take your will take the shot on the center on the junction park. Another tank rolling in for the US. It's gonna be Spencer. Hold the flag. It's all you gotta do. Artillery gonna come down. Tank will go down. Spencer. Spencer was not supposed to die there, but went the way of the dodo anyway. Artillery now gonna land on center on the junction park. And Scandi are not able to do it. Five seconds remaining. Three, two, one. And that will be the end of the match. 49 to 58. Scandi. Just couldn't make it happen that last round. But they got close. They held on. And that's pretty good. But that'll be the match. Existence will take all four rounds uh, pretty handedly. 102 for round number one of Road Rage. Nine for round number two is for uh, for the map, so that's pretty good. And then, of course, you get the 120 cap out and the, 50, and the 50, 48 from earlier. So, yeah, pretty convincing win for, exist for existence this, this match today. And just, you know, unlucky for Scandi. They had a map choice for, for Road Rage. It just wasn't their, wasn't their style.